Hi, just a quick video uh, for those on the EEV blog forum because it's where all the test equipment nerds hang out and they love their multimeters and uh, the discussion came up uh, between the Bryman uh, 869 here. I've got the original, it's not the 869S. Um, I believe that's just a newer production version. I don't think the specs are any uh, different. Anyway, um, I've got the original 869 here and versus the Bryman uh, BM786 EEV blog branded, of course, because it's an excellent meter. Now, a lot of people think that uh, the 869 is the absolute highest spec, you know, the best, uh, the most bestest um, e Bryman meter. It's got the highest specs and everything else. That's generally the case, except when you're talking about current. The uh, the 8780 series actually has a better specification, significantly better than the 869 when it comes to uh, DC current. And we can have a look uh, down here and... Sorry, it's just chopped off a bit. That should be sixes here and sixes over here. So this is the eight uh, six nine, and this is the um, seven eight six over here. So um, we're talking like 0.075% plus 20 digits on DC current here, whereas the 869, which has uh, got a 500,000 count uh, meter, not on uh, current, I think it only does that on uh, voltage, but it's 0.15% or its its best spec is 0.1% plus 20 digits on the uh, 6 milliamp range or the uh, 6,000 microamp uh, range here. So really there's like, this is, <laughs> the believe it or not the cheaper BM786 is like way better on DC current accuracy. They've all got the uh, plus uh, 20 digits here. In fact, uh, the 869 has a plus 30 digits on the 600 milliamp range, whereas the 600 milliamp range here is uh, plus 20 digits with the same uh, spec. So it's uh, it, they've tightened the 780 series up compared to the DC current. Now, uh, the burden voltage, um, uh, 0.15 milliamps, uh, millivolts per microamp, uh, we're talking 0.2 over here. So we could actually measure that, but I won't. Um, but yeah, it's like, and it's uh, significantly higher over here. And this has a lower burden voltage on the 786 has a lower burden voltage on the uh, the two major milliamp ranges here than the 86. Nine, so it's a better spec and a better burden voltage, and it's lower on the amps as well. So, yeah, um, if you're after like you know, absolute DC current accuracy, the cheaper BM seven eight six is actually better than the uh, top of the line eight six nine. Anyway, um, some people wanted me just to do a simple. Uh, well, they wanted to ask anyone they could do a simple test. Yes, I can do that. So I've got my calibrator here. I've set it uh, for one point triple oh one milliamps. I can just tweak that up, down a tad there like that. So, you know, there we go. And they're both like bang on. But of course, that doesn't tell you anything when you just measure one individual instrument like this. Eh, it's but at least shows that they have been tweaked at the factory and it has uh, held its uh, calibration. So yeah, they're both uh, bang on in that regard. So we can actually up the range on that. We can go to the 10 milliamp uh, range. We're going to have to go up a range here. There we go. Nine point. In fact, yeah, that won't that won't uh, do it because we're over the 10,000 count. Oh, we're uh, sorry, the 6,000 uh, count range. There you go. So bang on. Yep, bang on. Right. So no problems whatsoever. We go up to 100 milliamps here and yeah, pretty good. So yeah, no worries, right? Um, They're both bang on. But like I said, that doesn't tell you much. But anyway, somebody wanted me to just do that uh, test there. So it's interesting that the 786 actually has a very significantly better spec and burden voltage on DC current at least. Anyway. Catch you next time.